Thank you for purchasing the Lug Ripper and welcome to our instructional video. Here we're going to give you a demonstration of how to use our tool and hopefully make it a lot easier for you. It's pretty simple, so for this demonstration we use an exposed rim to make it visually easier to understand. Install the guide onto the lug nut, make sure the grooves are up and down. Install the clamp onto the guide and secure with a 5mm Allen wrench. You want to get your water bottle handy because during the entire process we want to make sure that we lubricate it and flush out the shavings. If you do have somebody that can help you with that, it makes life a lot easier. So let's start out by lubricating the inside of the guide and also onto the drill bit. Then using both hands and steady pressure, let's go ahead and get started drilling. You'll see the metal shavings start coming out the bottom as you lubricate through the top. Use medium pressure with both hands on the drill and continue drilling until you feel the head of the lug nut has been removed. You will feel a pressure difference, so once you feel that, go ahead and stop. Remove the clamp. Remove the guide. And remove the head of the lug nut. The reason why we do this is just to make things easier. Otherwise, we just gotta spend a few more moments shredding that down to size. It's not a problem, but it just makes things a little easier. Reinstall the guide, reinstall the clamp, and again, secure it using the Allen wrench. Turn the guide so that the grooves are on the top and on the bottom. Again, we're gonna continue using medium pressure, both hands on the drill. If you have somebody that can help you out flushing out the shavings, that makes things a lot easier. We wanna make sure that we continue lubricating during the entire process. It keeps the drill bit nice and cool and flushes out all the shavings. Continue drilling until the end of the drill bit has been used or it reaches the end of the guide. Once that's been reached, stop, and we no longer need the guide. So let's remove the clamp. Then remove the guide, go ahead and flush it out, and then we're gonna progress forward doing freehand drilling. You can see that most of the Threads have been already removed and the lug nut is almost completely ready to come off. Continue lubricating and start drilling. You can use one hand or two hands, but use light pressure to medium pressure because we're just about done. You'll feel the lug nut start to uh, jiggle loose. A little bit of lighter pressure so that you don't damage the rim and then it is off and there we are. We have successfully removed the lug nut without damaging the rim. You see the stud will need to be replaced because we've reduced its size. But that's not a problem. Our main goal was to remove the lug nut without damaging the rim. Thank you again for purchasing the Lug Ripper and we look forward to helping you with future endeavors.